It's manatee season, which means manatees frequent Three Sisters Springs from mid-November to March. Located on the Gulf Coast of Florida, Crystal River is an hour and 45 minutes west of Orlando and just an hour west of the villages. The manatee count was at 100 plus when we got our shuttle tickets at the Three Sister Springs Center. Passing through the charming shops and restaurants in Heritage Village on Citrus Avenue, you know you're on the way to something amazing. The main spring's entrance sign state access is for the trolley service, handicapped vehicles with permit, and walk-ins and bicyclists only. On-site parking and vehicular traffic is limited due to the springs being on a wildlife refuge. Once we arrived, we were anxious to find out if there were any manatees at the springs. The water was calm and clear, and the whole place was so peaceful. It's a totally different scene during the summertime. A winding boardwalk with a canopy of moss-covered trees surround the springs. We walked to find any signs of manatees in the water. At the end of the boardwalk is where we saw a small group of manatees, which is what these kayakers were observing. The area was teeming with other wildlife as well. We kept walking along the boardwalk since we did not see manatees passing through the pilings. Despite arriving about 9.30 a.m., the weather was not cold enough for a ton of manatees to congregate at the actual Three Sister Springs. We did see one precious manatee by the water's edge. The sign at the visitor center did say most of them are on Magnolia Avenue. Courtesy of Visit Florida, here's what you may see when manatees are swimming into the springs. After enjoying some more peace and calm, soaking the beauty of nature, we headed on a trail towards Magnolia Springs Avenue. It was about a six minute walk on gravel beyond the boardwalk to reach the viewing area. You've arrived once you see the large Magnolia Springs viewing area sign. Unlike the springs, the water in this canal is darker, making it a challenge to see the manatees. But we can tell there were dozens of manatees because they bobbed up and down the water's surface to come up for air. One helpful tip from a volunteer said to bring Polaroid glasses which takes the glare off the water surface helping you see the manatees better. There are a couple of benches available within the viewing area. If you go, I recommend going as early in the morning as possible, when manatees are most active and when crowds are less.
Soon the trolley was back to pick up passengers. They run about every 30 minutes. Our next stop was at the Crystal River Wildlife Refuge Office and Visitor Center, where they have a new area dedicated to learning all about the manatee, its habitat, and how to protect them. Don't forget to check out the back of the facility where they have a grassy area, more majestic trees and water views overlooking Kings Bay. Please click like if you enjoyed or learned something from this video and share with your friends, it really helps the channel. Click on my Crystal Rivers 5 Must Do's video if you want to know other cool spots to check out. Until next time, my name is Grace Joy. See you in the next one.